Greetings, YouTube. We have commentated a lot of Greater Gifting Crystals on this channel this week. Some openings have been absolutely breathtaking. Others have been mind-numbingly depressing. And a lot of them are just somewhere in between where you get a little bit of luck, but mostly like average things. But when something is average, is a Tier 2 Alpha Callus or a, a Tier 4 Basic, um, certainly 5-star Shards, it's, it's tough to complain. So we're going to see... Oh my gosh, your very first crystal is a six-star featured worth of shards, which I have not come close to opening at all in like almost 40 of these. Are you kidding me? That's already better luck than the 100 greater gifting crystals that we commentated in the past 24 hours on this channel. If you want to see what $1,000 got that summoner, please take a look at it because it was crazy data. Uh, half a tier two alpha. I can't believe, bro, your first crystal? Cardovert is truly a legend. Great dude. Great human being. One of those people that even if the game went away tomorrow, even if I logged into YouTube and found out my channel had been somehow deleted, he's still somebody that I'd want to keep in touch with far long after the game is gone. So that's really what makes me the most excited about the future is not um, a life on YouTube because every day that I, that I wake up, I think to myself, you know, today could be it. Uh, it's um, It's just the people I've been able to meet in this community that will stand the test of time for uh, the future of my friendships and uh, happiness. So there you go. All right. Um, more tier two alpha. I need that so badly that I wish I could just kind of like somehow borrow that. <laughs> can you, can you give that my way? All right. He might spin the first 10 and then pop the last 50. I don't know. I still can't believe that first one. I mean, the odds of that are so slim to get a six-star featured for 300 units. I mean, that's what you just saw is what you should expect, which is a tier four basic, which is ironic because a daily throne breaker is, um, well, is just as likely to get you that as anything else is. All right. More ISO and gold. We know the drill. 100,000 gold, though. Tier four class catalyst crystal. I remember last year, the first time that we got crystals within crystals and basically invented crystalception. Shout out to the movie Inception for the multiple layers of crystals. It was just, it was interesting to see a crystal pop out of a crystal, but now it's like normal. It's like, oh yeah, it's crystal. Kids don't realize how good they have it. All right. The luck has returned after that first one. It's been pretty average, which is still to say fine, but you're not getting even six star six stones. Or Tier 5 Class Catalyst Fragments, Tier 5 Basic Fragments. Obviously no Kang or Thanos. But man, 6-star featured. And a 5-star Awakening Gem Crystal. I saw that once. Alright, this batch of 10. It's got a 6-star featured and a 5-star Awakening Gem. For 100 bucks, you know how many people would buy that just straight up if it was an offer? If they gave you a 5-star Awakening Gem and a 6-star featured Crystal for an Odin, and this, of course, is not counting all the gold he gets, all the ISO, all the Tier 2 Alpha. This is a really good batch of 100, and more Tier 2 Alpha. Bro, you're going to have a, a hard time in the last five batches of 10 matching this first batch in terms of luck. What's the last Crystal of the 10 going to be? We see some ISO. We see some gold. The last item is a tier 4 basic. The worst you can do. All right, so first batch of 10, three tier 4 basic, but then 15,000 six-star shards. And the very first crystal, two tier 2 alpha and a five-star awakening gem. You know he had to be the most excited about that first crystal. Can he be the first person to pull a Kang or a Thanos today in the commentary submissions live on video? Next batch of 10. See, his six-star six shards moved by 1,500. He, he did get 15,000 five-star shards and 18,000 tier five basic. But in terms of luck, that first batch of 10 absolutely destroyed that second batch of 10. Third batch, there's Thanos. Wow, that's the first one we've seen today out of those. And this is officially kicking the crap out of the 100 that were opened earlier. Sorry, as kicker. Another five-star featured worth. Still just one five-star Awakening Gem. 
He has opened no six star six stone crystals and no tier five class catalyst fragments. Also, cardiovert. How many times are you going to open five star Thanos? That's incredible. I assume you haven't thrown any six stones into him. That's just been a normal dupe. All right, ten more. More tier four basic. Surprise, surprise. Formed a catalyst of some sort. No six star shards in there. Another. Ooh, two five star awakening gems out of that. There's the six stones finally. There's a nexus as well. So if you think about like what could be an account changer, the very first crystal out of 50 still remains the luckiest. The odds of that are just impossible. Okay, there we go. Never mind. His six stars shards more than doubled out of that? Is that right? Unbelievable. Last group of 10. And now he is looking anything any more six star shards? Nope, still 34,500. Still three, still just one nexus. Those nexuses are very rare. I feel pretty lucky to get two five star nexus in a batch of 10 before. Okay, well, there you have it. Amazing six star shard drops. He did get a Thanos. No six star Nexus, obviously. No Kang. How would you feel about that batch of 60? If the batch of 100 I graded today was a C minus, I'm going to have to go with this grade. I'm going to give it a B. Yeah. I think it was a B. It was an A plus if you just stopped at one. 15,000 six star shards out of one crystal. Are you, are you kidding me? But yeah, we'll, we'll say this was a B. Agree or disagree on the grade, YouTube. Thanks for uh, watching. And Cardiovert, thanks for sending this to the channel. It was a lot of fun to commentate.